Pat Alger is one of Nashville's most well-known songwriters. He's been writing for 40 years, has been inducted into the Songwriters Hall of Fame, and has dozens of hits. Just the other night. But of the countless stories he's turned into songs, there's one that stands out above all the rest. Sometimes I thank God for unanswered prayer. I can find something wrong with any of the others but I can't find anything wrong with this one, so it, it, it must have been there for a reason. In the late 80s, Alger ran into a man who, at the time, was unknown in the country music world. I was coming out of my office, and uh, this guy with a cowboy hat and a duster on was coming out of his office, and uh, I thought it looked like John Wayne <laughs> for a second. That man was Garth Brooks. The two started writing together, and at a session in the late 80s, the topic of high school sweethearts turned into a song. always when we wrote songs is we talked about it before we started writing. And he started talking about how he had had this experience with his high school girlfriend and I said, well, that's funny. I had, I had an experience with my high school girlfriend too. Pat says their similar love stories meshed and the song kind of just wrote itself. You know I'd never ask for anything again. Well, I don't even know whether we wrote it down or not. And that happens very rarely, you know, but I know by lunchtime, literally by, by noon, we had finished the song. Sometimes I thank God for unanswered prayers. Unanswered Prayers was literally a hit from day one. Garth had a writer's night scheduled at the Bluebird Cafe the day they wrote the song and decided to play it for the crowd. Well, he asked me if I'd come down and play it and he'd sing it. And so we, we Went down to the Bluebird that night. It's the first time I've ever done that, you know, song just written. And we got to the first chorus and the crowd just started, the whole crowd just erupted like, like they'd known the song their whole lives, you know. The story behind the song is only one thing that makes Unanswered Prayers so unique. Technically, the tune is all over the place. We only repeat the chorus twice in the song. And there's hardly any hit songs you can name. I don't think there's any hit songs you can name where you can only hit, only hit the chorus twice. We actually go to the bridge before we go to the chorus again, and that's like, it's kind of like breaks all the rules. This was only the beginning of Brooks and Alger's successful writing career. Their similar life stories went on to be motivation behind three more number one songs, The Thunder Rolls, That Summer, and What She's Doing Now. We both had this girl in Boulder, Colorado that was big time heartbreak romance. I mean, when he, when he, when he told me about that, I said, are you kidding me? We became one person for that, you know, couple of hours. We just were Garth Alger there for, for a while. Each song has its own unique story, but Unanswered Prayers, he says, is just one of those songs. You know, I've had so many of my prayers have been answered that it's so odd for me to have gotten uh, some of my success off a song about unanswered prayers. True life lyrics that have become one of the greatest love songs of all time. And I've gotten so many letters of, about this song over the years, you know, from people that, you know, said, hey, this song changed my life for this reason or that reason. I know it's because we left the window open that people could could look in uh, from the, into that window, and that window is in your soul. Stacy McLeod, Fox 17 News.